for a lot of us, getting rid of the toxicity in our relationships. So hopefully you've been working on it. Carlin is here now to show us what we need to do for the next step. So there's a mistake that you've mentioned a lot of us make when we're done decluttering. Yes. Instead of just sitting in the space, what do we do? We try to fill it up with more stuff. Yes. Yeah, because it's like now it's empty. Let me add some more things. I have room for more. Uh, but what I always encourage people to do is to sit in the uncomfortable space uh -huh. and selectively choose what you would like to put in there. And that's with your stuff and your relationships. And especially your relationships. Yes. So yes. you can be alone. Be alone. And you can think and be calm and quiet and figure out what you actually want to add. Yes. Well, the crazy thing is you won't be calm and quiet because yeah. you'll feel like... <laughs> freaking you know, out. Yeah, you'll freak out a little bit. And that's okay because your brain will now try to figure out, oh, there's nobody there. I'm always surrounded by, you know, X number of people. Not that person is gone. What should I do? So I always mm. say start with spending time with yourself. Get to know Tracy. Get to know Carlin a little bit more. Yes. Spend some more time with her. Take that silence to deepen the relationship with yourself first. Yeah, because if you can't hang out with yourself, you're in trouble. Like, I like Tracy. Yeah. She's fun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We have a good time together. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the truth of who we are and, and how our brains work. You say there are two truths. We're hardwired yeah. for two different things. Yeah, so we're wired for connection. We're wired. So that, that's why there's this natural progression of I need to connect. I need more people. I need to be around people. Yeah. It's just how we're wired. And we're wired for also to be comfortable. Right. The brain has just one, one basic thing that it's, it's do every day. Keep you safe. Keep you in your comfort zone. Yeah. Play small. And to keep on doing what it knows. So now that those people are gone, it's looking for now that new connection and that new opportunity to build new relationships. How do you break out of that then? So on the one hand, it's like, oh, I want creativity and experiences and new things. On the other hand, I need to stay right here where I am. Exactly. I need to keep making the same bad mistake again and again and again. Stick to the people you know. So the one thing I say is to start with setting small goals. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to teach you. It's like a baby, taking baby steps with your brain. Start small. Do something uncomfortable. Do one thing. I don't know. Go for ice cream in the middle of the day. Yeah. Um, say hi to a stranger that you've never met or actually have that connection with that person and say hello by seeing them. Right. And I love using all the five senses because our brains, actually, we receive information from all five senses. Mm -hmm. That's how we apply things in our life. We see, we hear, we touch, and we feel. Yes. So try to bring that experience to every single thing that you do every day. Okay. And I always say, outside of yourself, start with your home. Be a hero in your own home. Okay, Start so you mean in your relationships in at, your in your relationships home. at home. So what does that mean then? What might you be doing in your home differently than you were doing before? So from an indulgent perspective, indulgent in your life and your relationships, for example, with let's say if it's your husband, yeah. try to see him from the five senses perspective. Okay. Right? So maybe you're like, oh, yes, honey, yes, I'm listening to you, but you're on the phone or yes. maybe you're trying to do something with the kids. See him, feel him, hold his hand. Can you feel the rib? <sighs> of his fingerprint. Wow. Yes, like really pay attention and indulge and give him everything. I guess it's another way of saying of being really mindful with your relationships. Right. But think about your five senses with uh -huh. every single experience that you have with somebody in your home. And you can do that with anyone in your home and that really enhances uh, your relationships, your personal relationships. Yes. And I guess then that's the lesson that you take out with you when you're out there in the world. Exactly. Right? And it gives you more information in terms of now who do I invite to be a part of my relationships. Mm -hmm. What kind of friends do I want to attract? Because you now yeah. have a deeper understanding and relationship with yourself. Yes. You're now more connected with your husband, your, fr your, 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 your children, mm -hmm. and, and your family. Mm -hmm. Now you can selectively choose. Now who are the people who will add value to this yes. beautiful space or this beautiful connection I've created with my immediate loved ones? That's very interesting. I think as adults as well, we find it really tough to make grown-up friends very hard. Right? Because very you hard. made friends in elementary school, no problem. Then high school, maybe you went on for post-secondary uh, education. Maybe even your first jobs. You were like, oh, we're new in the workforce. And yes. then everyone's busy with their families. Yes. Um, it's really difficful to connect. So yes. we'll, uh, you, you got to get outside of your comfort zone. We should actually spend a whole segment talking about that maybe next time we you're should. on. How do you we make grown-up friends? Yes. 